Hello there, back again. Um, all I can tell you is that I can see there are two screens right now. I'll figure out later what it is that I have a problem with uh, because there have been some changes and um, I'm gonna have to just see what's going on here. So thank you for coming back. Um, I'm sorry that uh, for the delay in this one. So let's just see what I'm going to try to... Um, turn this on now. And we'll just pretend like that didn't happen. Uh, it's very irritating to people that try to uh, get on here and then all of a sudden it's not there. So I think I'll be able to see. Okay. There. So if you come back on, fine. Um, because I am going to go ahead and start the painting lesson uh, for uh, this apron. There. Okay, it, as you come into the room again, please let me know because I'd like to, um, let's see, I'll get it set. Hey, Leka. Well, Leka, you weren't here whenever I was having problems with the splitting screen. Um, I'm going to try to, s yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm just going to split this, and what I'm going to do is show you uh, hi, I'm just, um, I'm going to show you, uh, let me do this one thing. Today might not be the good day to do this. Um, But like I said, I've never had any problem with this, except in the very beginning, and then it was really bad. Um, but we'll just see what happens now. I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone in my, ca in my holder. Uh, this is an example of the template that we're gonna be using for this painting lesson. And um, let me see. Yep. Let's see if it splits for me. Um, let's see if that splits. I can see it fine on my end, and it's just not showing up for some reason. Let's see what's going on here. No. And I've never, like I said, I've never had any problem with this. Therefore, uh, all I can say is maybe it isn't me. I don't know. Uh, I've had this program for a couple of months now where I just feel as comfortable about doing that as I do getting on um, a Facebook page. So who knows? Uh, I'll try a few more things, and if that doesn't work out, we'll just skip this. There. You're still not able to see the picture in a picture. There. That's what I wanted. Okay, well, I think this is, um, that turned my preview off and turned my output on. So, anyway, that was not supposed to happen, and I always have it set up so that it comes out right. Who knows what, what, what's going to happen next around here. Um, I also like to put my picture up in the left-hand corner. Uh, it just gets, um, you don't need that big a picture of me. Uh, what I was going to show you a while ago, if you're just coming back into the room, is that this is what we painted yesterday up a trumpet. And this had been on my, uh, on my, on my uh, space to paint. And um, I just have put it off. I've had lots of other things going on. 
So uh, this was uh, this turned out to be uh, fun, and I would uh, like to invite you if you're uh, if you have a Pinterest page uh, to follow me on mine, and also to um, go to a page called Hand Painted Instruments because it's lots of fun, and that's what I'm doing right now. I have two guitars in my workshop. I've done a flute, and I've done, uh, this is my first trumpet, and I don't want to get anything any bigger than that because it takes up too much room, and it's just uh, too hard to play. Now, I was going to play it for you today, uh, except I don't know how to play. So anyway, I'm glad that you're here, and I hope you when you come in, you'll say hello. Sorry about the confusion on my program when you came in. Uh, like I said, I don't know what. Sometimes you just don't know. So uh, I got a note from somebody uh, back in 2018 that said it's very, uh, it was very confusing. Anyway, I agree with you, and I apologize if I've caused any problems. So just come on in. Now, this is what we're going to be painting. Uh, this is a an apron that looks like, I think I have a picture of it right here. Uh, yeah. This is, the, this is the packaging that comes from Hobby Lobby, and the picture looks like this. Oop. There. It looks like that. Now what we're doing is we're putting flowers um, on, this one doesn't have a flower on the pocket. On my personal apron, I have put lace, um, painted lace on there, and it looks, it's kind of, uh, uh, looks just like lace. And then we're going to place the flowers uh, around the base of it. This is a nice little party apron. And um, I haven't been able to find it in some Hobby Lobby stores, so it makes me wonder if um, possibly uh, they're discontinuing this apron. But I saw it online, so I know it's there. Now, okay, this is the template, and uh, this is how it goes on uh, your um, apron. This isn't even mine. I had to borrow it from someone because uh, I was in a big hurry when I left. What I do to begin with is I find the middle of the apron. And um, see, this person, whoever this belongs to, uh, this person did not follow the right, I mean, the, the, the whole thing of the template. And so it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. If you go out of the line, it doesn't matter. This is just a guide. And you can see the colors that we used on this was a pink, this is called Pink Blast. I may have a darker pink than this one. And if you can find a hot pink to match the trim, find it. Um, I used a white um, acrylic paint and like I said, what I've done to seal these every time, I, I do use acrylic paint on some of the shirts and fabrics that, I, that we paint, uh, but it's not necessary. Tammy, thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. Um, the, uh, the fabric paint is fine, but I've found that if I heat press this, it will, um, it will it'll be okay. Now, the only thing you have to think about is getting the food out that you get on yourself, and I don't, if you do. So see, it's bled through a little bit, but it's just a little bit, not much. This is heat press, though. So I'm going to show you, I don't know if you came in, what time you came in, Tammy, but this is the picture of the apron that we are using uh, that I bought at Hobby Lobby, and I liked it because it was hot pink and black, two of my favorite colors. And so uh, we're going to start on this. I don't think it, this doesn't take, it's, um, this is a classroom project. It doesn't take very long. And so I'll show you now how I'm going to lay this out. I use white charcoal pencil 
Uh, you know, I use my white pen for a lot of things, but this pencil is good to use for this project uh, because it'll wash out and it'll wipe out. Uh, not so for, you'd have to paint over the white uh, pen if you use that. So let me see if I can, okay, the seam is right down here and I'm going to just find the middle of Thank you. I'm just going to find the middle of the... Okay, so we'll match these up. And the reason I start at the middle of this is because I want to evenly uh, place these little roses, these little lily pullets or roses around. Uh, so I'll just put a template right here. This is going to be my middle. I'll just press it with my finger. That's probably all I need uh, to show me. I'm going to press it here. I'll put it in the middle of the fabric and then go around it with the charcoal pencil. Uh, this is just a guideline. Like I said, if you go out of the lines, no biggie. Not a big deal. Uh, because we're going to be using... Uh, other paints, we'll be using the hot pink paint and the um, green for the leaves and white to accent. Now that that's painted and that's the middle, I'm going to go over here and kind of, I'll do the ends of this. And I'm going to kind of space it out. If you see here, this one started over here, and it's got one, two, three, four, five. I was thinking I had six on mine, but it doesn't matter. This one has five, so unless I'm painting, no, counting wrong. So I'm just going to do the same thing here, kind of just base it in here. And if you wanted to, you could do it like this or this. It doesn't matter. I think I'll slant this one a little bit and bring it over. I don't know in this class if I even said anything about the leaves. And um, See, this one's gone out of line a little bit. It won't matter. Uh, it's going to be simply painting it and then going back um, with white and pink. Oh, I think I put some red on there too. It doesn't, you know, it's just different shades uh, that kind of make this look adorable. And I'm going to go over on this side. just going to bring it a little bit over here. It'll kind of match up with that one, but it's not a big deal. Uh, I decided after I made mine uh, the, in the first class that it, I needed a little more, um, I needed something else on the pocket. It was a plain pocket. So I made it look like eyelet uh, lace. Okay, now one, two, three. I see where they get five from here. I'm going to get five. I was thinking I had six because it would it would really crowd it in here if I did more than that. So now I've kind of controlled that I have uh, them separated evenly. I don't know what it's like in your area, but we are having a lot of thunder outside. So it's just been a beautiful day. We need the rain. I could use it. But the thunder and the lightning is something else. Now, I think it's moving away from us because a while ago uh, we had a meeting and it was really bad then. 
Okay, so you can see I'm getting five in here. Now, in case you haven't ever been to this in, to uh, this class that I have it on Facebook, uh, usually on um, Fridays we finish up our class and then I present the class that we're going to have the next week. I'm sorry, Laika, I know you've heard this a gazillion times. But uh, then on Monday, we'll start the new project. Well, I did this out of town last week uh, and carrying all this stuff for me it was just really a pill. Okay, I think we've done enough here that I can start showing you uh, some of the things that I do with painting this. Um, I need a painting apron. I'm just kidding. I'm okay. Um, there is one thing I wish I had, and it was my darker hot pink, but I'm going to do without it today. I might go back and touch it up. Uh, the palette that I'll use is hot, uh, is the pink, and I'll have to I'll have to uh, darken this. The only other color is going to be. Um, I've got a few brushes here. Uh, so you can see why the template is really helpful in this, in this project. Uh, if there is anyone looking at this who would like a template, uh, feel free to just message me and I will uh, send you a picture of it. Yeah, this is definitely, I need another color or two and I would get up and get it, but I don't want to disconnect my microphone. It's connected right here. And sometimes I get up with it already connected uh, and that's a mess that's really inconvenient there so this painting is just doesn't have any particular in fact this might work out best because if I saturated this it would go through and bleed to the other side where if I have um, just this one color today. I'll get it ready for tomorrow. And I'm, I don't usually finish these in one day. Oh. Why didn't I delete? Uh, we'll just let... You know what that is. I didn't dis put a do not disturb, which I kind of doubt because I've just been in a meeting and I was told to put do not disturb on my phone, which I did. What else can go wrong today, y'all? Um, that's one of the first things I do when I'm setting up is put my do not disturb and then I silence my computer, which I didn't do a while ago. And uh, I love the pink too. And I'm telling you, when you use this for Christmas, um, we'll have some other pinks on there tomorrow. But when you use this for Christmas, people are going to be grabbing it from you uh, to take it back home with them. So this might be a very good time to make a couple of very, uh, they would be appreciated, hostess uh, gifts. Okay, so we're going to go on to the next one. 
Oh, y'all have been so patient today. Thank you very much for... I ran over here from this meeting, and like I said, I usually don't have any setup. Uh, I use Switcher, and they've made some changes lately. I don't know why it would work, wouldn't work today, but it's like my preview is on and not my, um, my live preview is on. Uh, Tammy, do you use Switcher? I thought when you made the statement, you pro when you said flip it, well, I don't know. It's all by trial and error sometimes, and then you think, mm -hmm. what do I need to do now? So this is just all we're doing. See, it didn't, it didn't bleed through. Let me sh show you didn't bleed through and so I'm going to have to be careful now not to do what I just did and that was put your wet paint on top of the dry paint uh, I have some white here uh, but I'm not going to use it today I just want to show you how you could utilize it. You're going to be making strokes that are kind of comma strokes and mixing them with other colors. So anyway, it'll look better if we wait until we have a hot pink to put on there. Promise you. So tomorrow we should be able to finish the roses and start on the green leaves uh, as well as let me see tomorrow is Wednesday so we're right on target as far as the project and I'll show you uh, how to add some I don't probably don't have to show anybody here uh, no I did not use a textile medium for this or for the class I always when I use fabrics um, like when I'm painting on shirts or um, I have classes on uh, making blouses and fabric painting, I do use a, uh, I use speedball fabric paint for that. Uh, it hasn't been necessary for this and all I do is a, um, a real good heat press afterward. So uh, it, it's worked out, it's worked out. I mean, I was, I've done it in different cities so I know it works out. Um, all you need to do is a... Now, we'll see how stiff it is tomorrow. I haven't... Um, do you hear the thunder? I mean, I'm having quite a thunder show out here. Maybe one day I should try to do my fabric medium just to see if I notice any difference. But so far, I haven't had any problem with just using acrylic paint on it. Uh, I have fabric medium, and like I said, I use speedball uh, fabric paint uh, for my classes. I, I don't notice a great big difference. Uh, and I probably have just about every color that speedball has. Um, and I have fabric medium, but uh, hey Pat, glad you're here. Um, we'll just finish this flower. Uh, this is the paint that I'm using today. Tomorrow I'm going to add some more colors. Uh, I just, you know what, I thought this was the pink that I had used uh, before, but it isn't. The one that I use is um, a hot pink and it really matches this fabric. I'll be back tomorrow at 3. i got to get a haircut tomorrow. Uh, I need to do that because I'm getting shaggy. Shaggy feeling. So 
So you're just going to go around on this template. Uh, Pat, you just came in, but this is the template that we're using. And sorry, I didn't pull this around. I'm just going to finish this flower, and then we'll I'll get my paints ready for that. I will need tomorrow at three o'clock. So anyway, I think we're going to have a storm out here. No, but I'm almost through. Okay. We had a meeting in our um, clubhouse. Uh, I'm at Florida Grand Motor Coach Resort, which is where I stay during the winter season. Um, my husband and I are full-time RVers, and so we're here. We're from Florida originally, from Jacksonville, but guess what? Everybody from here is from Canada, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and it gets packed in here. So anyway, that's what we do, we're doing here. I teach at RV rallies, uh, at RV manufacturer rallies, RV resorts. Like I know you've heard me say this a hundred times. So anyway, I'm going to rinse out my brushes, brush, and I'd like to thank you again for being so, uh, I'm honored that you're here because I really apologize uh, for whatever happened, I don't know. So if you have a chance to go get an, an apron and you'd like to paint one, this is an excellent project. It's an excellent gift to give somebody. And um, just DM me if you'd like a copy of the template. I have um, lots of them for you. And uh, tomorrow we'll just continue this project. So y'all have a great evening. And just remember, it's a great day to have a great day. Thanks a lot for being so kind to me today. Bye-bye now.